Hey everyone, it's me again. I hope you guys are sober as I am. I have been, uh, I think the last time we spoke, things were changing for me. And uh, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm taking it a day at a time, still sober, uh, going to my meetings, uh, still working the steps. I uh, was looking for a job, and the news is I finally got a job. I am blessed. Uh, it, it, words cannot explain uh, the gratitude I have for being given a chance to live a life I should have been living a long time ago. Uh, being a nurse, I thought I knew everything. Being a man, uh, my ego got in the way. You know, I didn't know how to ask for help. Uh, I thought I could do everything by myself. And I thank my higher power for setting me straight. Pain and discomfort is a motivator. Don't let that fool you. You use drugs because you are in pain. And that motivated you to take drugs. Well... You could turn that into a positive. The pain that you experience, you don't want to experience it again. Then do the right thing. Work. Work your steps. Yes, true, you're going to lose material things in your life. But that's not everything. Sanity is your everything. It's everything for me. I feel comfortable. I'm happy with myself. Try to be kind to people. Uh, and it comes back. The world is full of energy. And I am just a small part of that energy. But in order for that energy to keep flowing through me, I have to work it. It's like they have the inertia uh, in physics. You take a marble and you set it into motion. And it will continue moving and moving forward and moving forward until something stands in its way and stops it or slows it up or changes the direction. That's how I was. I was moving forward. I was working the energy. I was working. And then all of a sudden I put something in front of me that stopped me dead square in my tracks, which was alcohol. I took a different road. That inertia just moved me over to a different place. Now I'm trying to get back on that same momentum, with the same momentum, and I have to work it. It sounds easy. I say, I, people come to me and say, well, you make it look easy. It's not. You have to work it. And don't be scared of a little work. You know, you got used to uh, working when you got up. And you decided, well, you know what I'm going to do? I have to get uh, my high. I have to get my bottle. I have to get my drugs. You went out in the snow. You went out in the rain. You did what it took to get your stuff. Well, you know something? That's what I'm doing now. I'm doing, and I'm, no excuse. Get up in the morning to do what I have to get. And you know what it is? Sobriety. I have to live it. I live. I choose. I'm able to say I choose to do certain things. Because, I, you know, in reality, I don't have to do anything. And I've said this before. I don't have to do anything at all except die. And I choose not to die. I don't want to die. But whenever my higher power says I'm going to die, they, that's, that's it. But I do choose that when I wake up in the morning to live the best life that I can. To treat people the best that I can. And every once in a while, don't get me wrong, I, I, I tell you, I make mistakes. I'm not perfect and I'm not trying to be perfect. But I'm trying to be the best that I was yesterday. The best that I was a few minutes ago. I hope this works for you 
I hope you go to your meetings. Apparently, AA has been around for a while. It's worked. But you have to put some of that inertia, that movement, that energy behind you. You have to work it. You have to want it as bad as breathing. And that's what I want. And that's why I keep doing it. I do it all the time. Every day, you know, I could easily feel sorry for myself, but I surround myself with the fellowship, with positive people that are going to tell me what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. We've heard so many things from other people because we, you know, either we were sharing the, uh, the, the liquor bottle, we were sharing our addiction with somebody else, somebody else, so you, you just said whatever they wanted to hear so you can get something. Well, you know something? I'm saying what's coming out of my heart. I need the help and I will always need to work this this program. I've got to work these steps every day. And just because it says Alcoholics Anonymous in the big books for alcoholics doesn't mean it's not good for sober people. People that might not have an addiction problem. Some of them are real asses. And they... They just live with it because that's the way they, they are. But since we are sensitive and we want something better in our life, we are labeled and we do what the steps suggest. Don't forget, it's only a suggestion. But let me tell you, though, those suggestions do work. With that, I want you... To work the program with your spiritual path, your higher power, whoever it is, whatever it is. Uh, I've been reading on um, Buddhism. It's been working for me. Meditation. The energy in the world. I'm part of something way bigger than I am. And I'm doing the right thing. It gets tiring sometimes. But I do not give up. That's why I use the telephone. Call someone from the fellowship. I call my sponsor. In the beginning, that telephone was to pick it up. Seemed like it weighed a ton. But once you start doing it and you start dialing the number and you start speaking, you'd be surprised. The person on the other end of that phone are willing to help you. So with that, please share this video. Subscribe like and comment. You guys take it easy and enjoy your day.